All right, people, Big Ed here. Um, working on the 1993 Harley Electric Glide. Um, I figured out the spark issue, so I got that taken care of. I put the gas tank back on. And guess what? I had carburetor issues, so I'm rebuilding this carburetor now. I'm waiting for the parts to come in. It's leaking out of the accelerator pump and this looks like a new diaphragm but it don't seem right something don't seem right about it so I'm gonna see what the new one looks like this one's got like a groove in it just doesn't seem like the other ones I've gotten in the past here's the painting I'm doing in the meantime but uh I'll show you all the issue with the no spark that I figured out you know walk out here to the shed yeah I've sat here for three or four weeks trying to figure the damn thing out and I got out here about a week ago I got out here and started tinkering with it again and I finally figured it out so I'll show you what it was there was a wire that was not getting a good connection Sorry about the delay. I don't know how to do all the editing and crap. You know, I'm an old man. But the ignition pickup sensor right there, the wires go down and they come from underneath. They come from underneath here and plug into this other prong right there. Then that wires go up to the ignition uh, control module, which is brand new. I got a Dynatec 2000 P. Uh, Ignition control module. Anyways, these wires right here going into that boot. There's a green, a red, and a, I think a white or a blue. White and blue. There's three wires. One of those wires right there, I think it was the red one, was not in that boot all the way. Because I took the boot off the old pickup sensor and put it on this new wire and harness pickup sensor but I didn't get the wires pushed down in there all the way and that's why I wasn't get it wasn't getting a signal up to the um, ignition control module so I pulled the wires out and just stuck them into the pickup sensor and I got spark so I put them back in the boot now I got good spark and it cranked up. So I got it to crank up and it was running like crap and I looked down there's gas leaking from the CV carb which I've pulled off. I've tore down, I've got it cleaned and now I'm waiting on the carburetor rebuild kit. Which will have a new it'll have new jets it'll have an accelerator pump and gaskets and all kinds of crap comes with the kit so everything's taking forever and nowadays it seems like the smaller 
item that you order takes two or three weeks and the bigger items I ordered the control module a while back which is a lot bigger than a carburetor rebuild kit that co control module was in within like three or four days I ordered some washers took two weeks to get the washers in and they were in a little envelope I don't understand what's going on but I'm ready to get this damn bike going. I got the saddlebags on there, the fishtails. Got my apes. I still got to bleed the brake, and I'm having some issue with the clutch. I've tried everything. I've done clutches before on bikes, but. I don't know, I just can't seem to figure this one out. I've watched a lot of videos and I don't know if it's something to do with the cable or if there's something on the inside of the transmission over here. I don't know if there's something in there that's causing it to hang up. But I I've tried to adjust it and try it again and try it again. I pulled the thing off and tried something else. And so I have to find somebody to help me with that probably. The brakes, I got to get my brother to help me bleed the front brakes. I think I can do the back one myself. But I'm ready to get her going. I'll keep you posted. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Peace out.